Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike. It's Dan. It's the Domino's that saves lives. Dude, I love this story. I love this story because I used to, you and I, we both used to work in the service industry. I started being a waiter when I was like 17, 18. Yo, I started being a waiter slash busboy slash cashier slash kitchen At helper <clears throat> since I was like 10. At your parents' place. At my parents' place. All Asian parents that own restaurants, they exploit their kids for free child labor. I'm telling you right now. So I feel like this is definitely something that would. Abs I don't, I'm not surprised by this. I love this story because it's something like I, I like I would have done. Yeah. And if you guys ever worked in uh, like a, a American style, Western style restaurant, it doesn't matter if it's fast food or if it's like you know high end or whatever. You get regulars. Yes. And you know who they are. And there's a special relationship that kind of forms. It's like I never hang out with them outside of work. No. But when you get a regular, I mean, you see them every other day, yeah, every week. So, so each time you see them, you have a conversation, you get to know about them, and after a while, it's like you're your friend, you know. Yes. So naturally, when something, if you don't hear from them, you definitely you'll be like, oh, where's Bob been? Where's yeah. Bob been? And usually, Bob, Bob will come in. Yes. And then you'll be like, where you been? And he's like, oh. But yeah. in, in particular, I mean, this I can't relate it to it that well in terms of like. Uh, um, finding then like like knowing where they live. Usually they just come into the restaurant. Okay. So if they yeah. don't come in, yeah. You know, I'm kind of like, all right, where, where are they at? But then I don't think too much of it. Right. Because like, you know, that's but, not a big deal. I right. guess they might have been on vacation. Right. But like, let's say so. This guy, he's yeah. been coming to the same Domino in Oregon. So Kirk Alexander, he's 47 years yeah. old. He's been going there for seven years. So right. you would have definitely been like, oh yeah, Kirk. He's got you know wife and kids, whatever he lives because drop pizzas off at his house so you know you probably know a lot about this guy and he's literally like he's he's been going there to, this is just kind of funny in itself like go to Domino's for seven years no I get it I mean he wonders like it so much like can you imagine I mean I hate Domino's I hate Domino's I'm Whoa. sorry I cannot eat at Domino's yo uh, Domino's wait. was considered back in college the, the uh, cheap alternative to uh, Pizza Hut and Papa John's and um, we would get like the no, the flat pizzas. Oh, that was good though. I was all right. The that flat was all right. was good. Dom, so Dom, I even tried there when Domino's rolled out their uh, fresh ingredient pizzas, whatever yeah, artistic like, ingredient. Artisanal. I, yeah, or whatever that is. <laughs> I feel like it's the same thing. Dude. Same thing. I tried that, but that was the last time I ate Domino's. Well, no, no. I'll tell you the last time you ate Domino's was with me. No, it was not. Yes, it was. No, you don't remember. Not. You don't no. remember. You ordered Domino's and you had I some. I didn't eat it. You didn't have a I did not piece. eat it. No, you you and Ben ate it. I had not, none of it. Oh, it no, man. late at night. How can you, you not have a piece? It, and I you, didn't eat a single piece. How could you not have a piece? It was late at night. I gotta watch my figure. Uh, That's the I, way it is. I gotta hand it to you. I thought you must have had it. Nah, so Self-control, <laughs> folks. So this guy, Kirk Alexander, he didn't visit this Domino's for only... It's only been 11 days. Yeah. It's not like he's been gone for months. Right, but, but apparently this guy never takes vacations. Okay, so yeah, you would know that. Yes. To the point where the, the staff definitely felt something was up. Right. This guy, he, he always orders. We know exactly what he orders. Where he, Well, actually, in this case, he always orders something different, but that's his thing. He, yeah. order, he always orders. So after 11 days, they're like, you know, you kind of joke sometime when the guy comes back and he's like, yo, I thought you were dead. But that's a joke because yes. he obviously comes back in. Right. But somebody must have made the joke or whatever, and then they were like, yo, let's send a delivery cart to his yeah. house. And when see they, what happens. They sent the cart, knock on the door, didn't answer the door. Right. That's when they called 911. And then surely enough, 911 came in and he he was under, he if they hadn't bring him brought him to the hospital then, the doctor said that he would have died. So yeah, I mean, this is really interesting because you have to think about this guy's behavior, right? right. So it's, he must have never took vacations without telling the Domino's people yeah. or he just never took vacations. Right. Because if that happened, they, they'd be like, if he took vacations without telling them, they'd be like, oh yeah, he was just on He's vacation. He's on vacation. And this is the special, like, I love this because like, there's been so many people that I've met, like working, I've, like, I've worked in one restaurant, the longest time I've worked there was for three years, right? Everywhere else was like one year, two year. Even in the one year, two year, two years, you get to know people. Yeah. But in the three years, this reminds me of, there was one guy that lived next, lived literally next door. And no, I tell you, I'm not even kidding. Every single day, day, for a whole year, he would come in. Wow. Every, he, I'm, I'm not even kidding. So, dude. so what if he didn't come in for like, like four days? I don't. I would, and if he didn't tell me, yeah, I'd be, yo, I would have done. I've been like, yo, Mark, Mark lives next door. I mean, I, I became very good friends with this man. Like, I took him to see uh, the Shen Yun show. You know, yeah. He came in every single day for wow. a whole year. What restaurant was this? Whole, uh, at the tea house. Oh. So 
Dude, that's he, expensive too. I, dude, he was struck. Though he Man. made a joke one time. He was like, I think I dropped like 35. Yo, he really did. If you wow. if you added up how much money he yeah. you know, he got a tea, a tea was like seven dollars. That's like 30 bucks a meal. Not he was yeah yeah 25 30 yeah yeah 30 okay 30 bucks a meal. 356 days. Yeah. Dude, it's 365. No, it's a lot. Asian math, you know. And sometimes he'd order a lot. Maybe he'd yeah. order takeout. Sometimes he would come in twice. Yeah, he no, dropped a lot of money, dude. So, do you think? Let me ask you. Do yeah. you think these Domino's people called him because you know they're basically being supported by this guy? <laughs> they're like, no one's ordering Domino's, and we kind of need this guy's like you know 20 bucks a night. Yeah, I could see that being in the back of their mind, but obviously I'm, I'm nah, joking. No, we're just joking. We're joking. But, but yeah, that's that's really cool. The bond that they have and. At this, at this point, I saved this guy's life. So the lesson to you all out there is basically, if you're living alone, always let someone know where you are. Yes. This way, if something ever, I think about that sometimes. Yeah. I live alone, I'm yeah. like, if I just one day, like, I don't know, crack my head open right. on the sink and right. I, I'm down, right. I can't get up. Well, it's different because you have friends and family. But if you were kind of a loner, maybe, maybe you got to think about who would Yeah, that's what know. I'm saying. Yes. Look, who let's say know. I lived alone here. I didn't really have any friends. I I, I know how you would get saved. Oh. You go to, we go to the same coffee shop every day. Think about no, that. They wouldn't, think about they that. wouldn't care. Bro, think about We go there every yeah, But still, day. They, they don't know where I live. I don't know, find out. They, how are they gonna find out where I, I live? Like, were they stalking me? No, isn't all our information? Like, no, we don't put addresses out there. They would definitely wonder. They'd be like, yo, it's been three days. Of course days. they will wonder because Where's they'd be like, Mike? they would tell us yeah. because we would tell them if we're going somewhere. But then yo, they'd be like, maybe they just died. If you're a loner, right, check this out. Then they'd check, your, check our videos. They'd be like, wow, Mike hasn't released anything. In but then they'd videos. be like, oh, he's just crazy too. Oh, you could, they could have thought, but then like he didn't come you in. You know what we all need? You know those uh, yeah. those those things, Trackers. <laughs> <laughs> those uh, necklaces for yeah. old people that they have. Oh yeah, that you push it. You think we need? Yo, that? I think we need though. If Yo. you live alone, oh, I think you might need one. Yeah. I don't care how old you are. I think you live alone, you might need one. Yeah, man, because because if you definitely were a little older, uh, seriously, if it wasn't for Domino's, this guy would have died. Yeah. Dying. And he's not, he doesn't look that old. He's he 47. Yeah, he doesn't though. look that that unhealthy. He looks, no. I mean, he has dominoes every day. That probably doesn't help him, but. He actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm not gonna needs, lie. He needs one of those ambulance bracelets. He looks pretty darn good for yeah. He's 47? That's crazy. Yeah, man. he's been eating dominoes nonstop. That's, 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 that's oh, so, I want yo, that. Hire him as your spokesperson, Domino. It's much better than that <laughs> Jared guy that Subway hired. No, that dude. That guy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. See ya. Later.